Do you need an ultra wide? Uh, traditional 16 by 9 is a better option for most of the full HD footage. It's better for gaming, most of the gaming. It's better for streaming, and in general, it's more adopted and uh, universally used option. Uh, 21 by 9, which is the ultra wide, is more of a niche product, but. This monitor can be recommended for people who are looking for productivity mostly, like for example office work, work with a lot of text. If you need like two monitors, you constantly use two monitors, just buy this one. It will be one monitor much easier to use. It's so wide, it's so much space there. It's like having two monitors, except you don't have the split in the middle and that's great actually. So basically you can treat it as two monitors, which is like amazing. For coders, for testers, for developers, for people who use a lot of time, maybe for game developers, but not really sure here. So yeah, write in the comments, guys, if it makes any sense. But for productivity, Office, I'm using the Office for many years and it uh, works great. And especially for editing, sound edit and video and photo editing, much easier to navigate, works amazing, especially for those huge timelines you can use. So uh, for those people, it's an amazing buy, even if it's one and only monitor. Also, uh, if you already have one 16 by nine monitor and you want to buy an additional monitor, this is a great addition because there are some use cases you can you can do here on this monitor, which you cannot do on the regular 16 by nine. So for those people as well, who are looking for a secondary monitor, the 21 by nine movies, those look amazing. You know, like those wide movies you have in the cinemas and uh, the movies that are 16 by nine look fine. You do have black bars on both sides, but you can still use it. So no problem you see black parts they did not really change anything but 21 by 9 movies though those look just amazing the curvature at first seems a little bit strange to have a curved monitor because all the lines are kind of curved but a couple of months passed and you get used to it totally and now i switch between the curved and the flat monitor your brain gets used to it so well like you don't notice it you don't notice it at all so don't be afraid that your lines will not be straight somehow your brain figures it out and everything is fine the racing games those are amazing you play Gran Turismo or something like that, you do get this immersive feeling. One of my friends, he plays competitive racing games. He has like this huge Samsung Odyssey. Odyssey? Odyssey? That, that's how it's pronounced. And uh, that's our man. This resembles it a little bit. So yeah, I do feel a benefit while playing uh, racing games. And as well, uh, for example, Total War or Civilization. Those are as well amazing. You have a lot of info screens, a lot of units on the screen. So for those games, it's also amazing. But I actually like 16 by 9 as well for those type of games. But th this is nice perspective on some of the games. Not definitely not the FPS. Whom I don't recommend this monitor for are uh, general gamers who want to buy one monitor and they want to have one and only monitor. They play mostly FPS games, they stream, they want fast response time, they want to have fast refresh numbers like 400 hertz or something like that unless they already have one fast monitor and they will want to have something additional in that case yes it will work i don't really enjoy playing fps games on this monitor because it's wide it's big and you want to notice something small in the corner like you have to look like this all the time it's a little bit tiring and you don't really notice all of the details because the monitor is like huge and this immersive feeling you should be getting i actually get seasickness from this it's similar to seasickness because fps games those are so fast that uh, it's a little bit distracting and also for people who are looking for one size fit all solutions 16 by 9 is more like it this monitor as i've said is a niche product so for those people probably not there are some downsides to having ultra wise yes ultra wide is not a typical resolution to have like it's difficult to stream, it's difficult to use some content which is supposed to be 16 by 9, but so far for the productivity, wow. Zero regrets. Zero. This is amazing to have this real estate. This is gorgeous, guys. Yeah, very satisfied. Couple of noteworthy ultra-wide monitor models are included in the video description, as is a link to the article that has some extra details. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.